Hey guys, today is December 7th. Basically, I decided that today I'm going to be making this entire video on um, what I like to call Mensitsu no Jinbi, which in Japanese basically means like interview prep. If you guys didn't know, my interview for Brinka is this Saturday, and uh, today's Thursday, so I'm already starting to kind of prep what I want to say, what I want to wear, things like that. I know I'm saying already, but actually it's kind of last minute to be honest. I basically only have today and tomorrow really to work on it, but right now I'm about to go to school to meet one of my teachers. I have this lovely notebook that has all of my notes for what I'm gonna say during our interview practice today. So yeah, I'm about to go meet her and practice a little bit. And then afterwards, well, I'm gonna go to work first and then I'm gonna head home and do some shopping for some interview appropriate outfits. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys shopping along with me. So look forward to that. All right, well, I just got out of the school and my teacher basically told me that I don't need to worry about the interview. But obviously, if, you, if you're being told that you're really good, then you don't like want to worry about it, but you want somebody to tell you what your bad points are, you know? Um, which she did, like luckily she told me like, oh, you know, we should say this or say things this way. But um, yeah, overall she pretty much just said that I don't have to worry about that. The main thing I'm gonna try to focus on is writing a really good essay. I think that's, the part that I need the most practice because speaking is not too much of a problem for me and uh, when I looked at the practice test that they have um, it's a pretty simple test. Writing has kind of always been my weak point but that's okay. That's why I'm in school. That's why I'm learning Japanese, you know? Anyways, okay. See you guys. When I get to the thrift store, we can do some shopping. So it's now the evening time. It's about 5 p.m. and the reason why I want to film is actually because this is the only neighborhood in all of Tokyo that I've ever seen this many lights and I just want to show it to you guys, it's literally awesome. Okay, so I actually came home like a several hours ago, but I had like a million chores to finish and like some other errands to do before I went home, so um, that's why I'm making this video 11 o'clock at night. So the first thing in this small bag is this scarf that I got. So yeah, I just wanted a really simple like reddish tone, bluish tone scarf. But yeah, pretty much I just wanted a scarf that was, you know, comfortable and that was a little bit long but not too long and that was not like a circle scarf because I was getting kind of bored of the circle scarf to be honest. And by the way, if you guys are curious, this was this was 525 yen, so about five dollars. Then we've got this. Oh my gosh! So lately, if you guys didn't know, I've been watching that 70s show. I absolutely love that show, and uh, yeah, and I was obsessed with like the stuff that they wear. And this, tell me if this doesn't give you guys Fez vibes. If you guys watch that 70s show, tell me who you guys think would wear this. I think Fez would wear something like this. Or maybe even Michael? No, no Fez. This is definitely like a Fez shirt and I just thought it was so funny. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but on this tag right here, it says that it was meant to be 4,200 yen. So whoever bought this, bought it for 4,200 yen and never wore it, and then gave it to the thrift store who sold it for 500 yen. It kind of opens up. It doesn't really have a button or anything, so it just kind of flies open a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Pair this with like some flare pants and honey, you got you a 70s outfit, okay? Okay, so next we've got this lovely little beret 
that I thought I would buy because I've always wanted a beret and I don't even know if I'm gonna wear it on the day of the interview because I don't want it to mess up my hair but yeah this beret was only 525 yen as well and I thought it was worth it because sometimes you want to wear a hat but you don't want it to be like too heavy or anything like that like you just want something light and simple and yeah that's why I thought I would get this but that's it for the small bag next thing I want to show you guys is some accessories there's a shop near my school that's called pop girl it's near the uh, Nipori station and I was passing by there when I was like walking like leaving school and I decided you know what why not just like go in there and see if they have some fun stuff and sure enough they did when I walked in there the first thing that caught my attention was these cute little earrings I used to have white earrings like this that were a little bit smaller they were just like regular pom-poms they didn't dangle or anything like that but I gave them to my sister so name I hope you're taking care of my earrings and yeah they have pearls the top and then at the bottom they have just a little pom poms and this one this was only 300 yen and I loved these so much that I actually decided to get them in black too but yeah this is what they look like aren't these so cute I think these are gonna be so good for the interview so yeah I'm planning on definitely wearing either these ones or these ones we'll see so basically the main reason why I wanted to go to the thrift store today is actually because I wanted to get a new jacket I wanted to get a jacket that was gonna just like put the whole outfit together tie it up in a knot make it look fantastic and I found just that you guys when I saw this I was like I need to have this right now. You guys need to understand, I tried on so many coats when I was in the thrift store. I tried on like a bunch of men's coats. The shoulders were just way too big for me. And I was like, you know what? I can't do this. I'm gonna have to look for some women's jackets. And so I saw in the corner of my eye, this jacket. I knew that was the expensive corner of the thrift store. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna still go try and see if I like it. And sure enough, it was not the expensive side for a reason, but I absolutely love it. And this is what it looks like. Dun, dun, dun. So you've got a belt at the back here, which is fantastic for cinching in the waist, especially when you're wearing wide pants. Cause like I absolutely love wearing like flared out pants. Cause like I said, I'm into that 70s vibe. Uh, when you're wearing that though, you want something that will cinch your waist. You know what I mean? But can you just look at this right here? Like this lining though, like this is amazing. It's such like it's so beautiful to touch. And out here you've got this really fluffy bit, which I hope is not real for. I don't think it is, but. I'm really hoping it isn't. And as you guys can see, the price right here cost me 2,500 yen, which is about $25. But it was worth every penny, honey, because this jacket, when I wear it, I feel like I'm just the boss. Like, I feel like I own the company. I feel like I, own, I run the store. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I feel like you need a jacket like that when you're going to an interview because, like, you don't want to feel shy and embarrassed. You want to feel like you own the place. Especially because Bunka is going to be full of fashionable people. I'm not trying to show up there looking crusty. Like... No, thank you. <laughs> so tomorrow I'm going to try to do a bunch of like different interview outfit options. You guys can vote for the one that you think I will wear on the day of my interview. And then we'll see if you guys are right in the next day's vlog once you see, um, you know, my actual interview day and see what I'm wearing that day. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't joined the Hazina fam, then definitely go click the subscribe button because it's always a party. Hey. I don't know why that all of a sudden became like the catchphrase. It's always a party. <laughs> yeah, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!